Hi everyone, welcome to America Creations. Today I will share with you three Christmas decor DIYs and they are all easy and budget friendly and they are part of my new winter and Christmas decor series Love and Light that I will share with you up until Christmas. So don't miss out on that, hit that subscribe button and join me on my journey of Love and Light. So let's get to it. My first DIY, I have these frames that I have bought at a local sheep store action for one euro. It's about the same in dollars, US dollars. So the first thing I do is to take out the backing and the glass and the little metal thingies that keep everything attached to the frame. Don't need that anymore. And uh, I have in total six frames. So here they are, all of them, and I start out with my creamy golden color and just dry brushing, rubbing it in onto the frame to highlight the texture, like so, on all six of them. I will make three Christmas displays. I will hang it in a window, so I need to have pretty frames on both sides, so that's why I have six of them. So here I have taken things from my stash in gold and white, because this is my Christmas color scheme of this year. And I have some letters here. I will write love and light, but I did not have the right letters. I didn't have an E here, for example, so I took a B and I just snip off a little bit with my pliers and voila, it becomes an E. Perfect. And now time to spray paint all the love and light here with a golden color, just one coat. I want an angel for my display, but I didn't have one on hand, so let's create one out of these 70s garlands. And this is like a tree of life. So, and I take an ornament, and I will have the ornament as the head of the angel, branches as the wings, and the tree trunk as the body of my angel. I'm just cutting out so I have um, the shape of the wings that I want. Like that. Looks like an angel, doesn't it? And I take several of these, so it will look as good on one side as on the other. This video is part of the Heidi Sunball DIY Challenge Christmas Edition and it is hosted by Heidi at Heidi Sunball DIY. And if you're not familiar with Heidi and her channel just yet, be sure to jump on over right after this video and check out what she has to offer. I will leave a link down in my description to her channel along with a link to the playlist of this challenge so you can get loads of Christmas inspiration. I will hang my frames from this branch that I have found in the woods and then different heights and I take this golden ribbon that I will use as hangers, different lengths and I just um, hot glue them into place like so but just on one side for the time being because I need to put them around the branch and have all the decor ready before I put the, everything together. And now it is time to put the ornaments into place and I have just some white thread and I'm just hot gluing them into place like you see me do here but I take just a tiny 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 bit because I don't want any bulky glue blobs anywhere because I'm putting the frames together later on and I want a smooth surface 
So that's what I'm doing here, just putting everything in place. These cute golden icicles and some mini ornaments. The angel in the center. If you are recreating this DIY and you don't want to put uh, the frames in the window like I am doing, you of course don't need six frames, just three of them or the number of frames you want to display. My love and light letters have all dried and now I am attaching them to the frame with the help of some hot glue. Time to put everything together. The ribbon around the branch and I'm just um, twisting it a little bit and uh, attach it with some hot glue and hope it will hang straight later on and then hot gluing it onto the frame and cut off the excess. Then I am putting hot glue onto the frame all the way around like you see me do here and then attach the other frame with the designated ornaments on them and then I continue with the other two frames, same procedure. If you're new to my channel, hi, I am Marika and on this channel I do lots of DIYs, trash to treasure, thrift flips, renovation of my home, some pottery, some painting, anything creative really. Please join me, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell and let's be friends. Last thing I do is to attach a nautical rope onto the branch as a hanger and I secure it with some jute twine. And here they are, hanging in my window, looking pretty I think. Love and light white and gold Christmas decor the cute little angel in the center there as you can see I have secured them to the branch even more with some white yarn because they were not hanging quite straight so I fixed that tell me what do you think leave me a comment down below and here is from the outside just as pretty but I didn't write the words love and light for my second DIY I will make a cute Christmas vignette in this huge lantern that I have it has been with us for over a decade and it's heavy duty very pretty but very shiny and very silver I wanted to paint it already last year it would have been matte black and I'm glad I didn't do that because this time I will paint it in an antique golden color. So first thing, I will mask off the glass on my lantern, just with the help of a piece of paper and masking tape. And I do that all the way around. I didn't have a possibility to remove the glass, so I decided just to cover it. Time to start spray painting and uh, as I said it's an antique gold color and I applied two coats and let it dry thoroughly in between the coats. Now it's time to start thinking about the Christmas decor and I start out with this huge bottle brush tree that I have and it already has some fairy lights on it 
and I remove that because now I'm spray painting that tree and a smaller tree with the same golden color as I used on the lantern. I will also use this cute little pearly white garland. It had fairy lights on it, but they didn't work. The battery had leaked, so I had to remove that. But I thought I could use the garland itself anyways. I just got some uh, boxes of old Christmas decor from my sister-in-law and this garland was amongst them very nice beautiful christmas things some i need to do an update on others lovely as they are but this little angel my daughter got from my mother some time ago already it has already been broken and i'm refreshing her with some white paint on her dress and some golden color on her stars wings and hair i will also use an ivy garland but i need them in my color scheme so i'm spray painting it in a golden color then it's time to put everything together the same golden icicles that i used in my first diy tall tree the small tree and then i found this feather boa that i will use as snow in my lantern that was also part of the christmas decor i just received and now the ivy garland as a backdrop i will put a branch of witch hazel i love witch hazel you know that as a last touch on the snow, I will put this pearly garland as well. And then it's time for the smaller Christmas tree. And finally, the angel. And here it is, my beautiful Christmas lantern. I love how it turned out, perfect colors. And here is the decor, the Christmas tree lit up there. Looking very Christmassy, I think. What do you think? For my third and final DIY, I will make a Christmas star for my window and I have printed out a seven point star from the internet and I'm just cutting it out. I wouldn't trust myself to draw a symmetrical star like this, so I went the easy way and printed it. this will be the center of my star and i have this huge piece of cardboard that i found in the garage and i'm centering the star there and tracing it onto the cardboard like that and then i will make a bigger star from this so the points are like 23, 24 centimeters long and between the points it's only 10 centimeters. So I'm making an exact image of the little star in a bigger version. When I am done sketching, I take my box cutter and start cutting out my star like you see me do here. But I need more than one star, so I'm taking this star and put it on the cardboard and trace that one. 
I need four equal sized stars like this one. So I cut them all out. On two of the stars I will have a round circle cut out in the center of the star. Just the same size as the paper star. And on the two others I will have the star. You will soon see how this is meant to be. So now I have two stars with stars in the center like that and two with that circle shape and I will put them on top of each other it will be beautiful. Before I put them together like this I will embellish them. I have some leftover wallpaper that I will use on the circle star here the same that I have on the wall in my guest room and this star will go in the window of my guest room wallpaper glue that I have left over from the renovation and as you can see there is a tiny bit of the point that was not covered so I just cut out a little extra piece and glued it on and now I'm putting something heavy on top so it will stay flat when it dries so for the star stars if i can say that i have this throw blanket that has stains on it it can no longer be used as a nice throw blanket so the front is a bit too fluffy but i will use the back of it so i'm just cutting them apart now like you see me do here and then i am taking some fabric glue and brush it onto my star and just put the fabric on top of it a little at the time and continue the same procedure until the whole star is covered and I just set them aside to dry for a bit then it's time to cut them out and I'm cutting them out just exactly the same size as the cardboard star like that and the same with uh, the opening the star in the center there then I will take some more of the fabric glue and just make sure that all the fabric is attached properly same procedure with uh, a circle star with the wallpaper on it just cut it out with a pair of scissors and in regards to the circle in the center I used an exacto knife to do that just to make sure to have some protection underneath so you don't damage your table so let's see how it will look have that star and then on top of that my throw blanket star like so looking pretty already i think i will cover the star opening with this golden mesh ribbon it was not large enough to cover the whole opening so i will take several pieces and just hot glue them on the back side of this star like you see me do here i want the light to shine through but still a little bit to cover it like that here they are glued together and they will be attached like that with a space in between for the light fixture so i will address that now so i have this thicker piece of cardboard that i cut to size two pieces like that and one of the pieces I will cut an opening for the cord like so and I do that with my exacto knife and right in the center I will make a slightly bigger hole so the lamp can rest in there and not slide out like that 
and then it's time to glue them onto one of the stars to begin with like so lots of hot glue and then the other one at the bottom like so and then reinforcing them with loads and loads of hot glue. I did cut down the spaces a little bit because the distance between stars were too great. I have decided to paint the back side of the stars. I realized that the cardboard was showing a little bit too much and since I have a white theme I thought it would be prettier to paint it. If I had known I would have done it before I glued everything together it would have been much easier. If I would have gone for a more rustic color scheme, neutral colors, maybe the cardboard color would not have bothered me. If you like this video and videos like this, be sure to hit that like button and the subscribe button for more inspirational videos. There are loads of Christmas decor in the making. And here it is, looking pretty in my guest room. In Sweden, it's very common to have stars in the windows during the holidays. Do you have it where you live? So, tell me, what do you think? Did you have a favourite of my creations today? Let me know in the comments. And here is an evening view, looking pretty. Now it's time to go to my description box and click the playlist link to this challenge so you can get loads of inspiration, Christmas inspiration. If you want to check out more of my videos straight away, click that Christmas inspiration icon appearing on the screen right here. Just click and enjoy. Thank you so very much for watching. See you soon again in my next one. Until then, take care. Bye.